in uh, Tsernets, uh, which is almost in the national park. Um, it's about minus eight, minus nine degrees right now, so it's really, really cold right now. Yes, yeah, so we were here for two nights. Uh, we're overlooking this little town. Uh, the lights are starting to come on, so we're shooting here for blue hour. The fog is starting to roll in a little bit, so I'm not sure how much we'll get, but uh, one thing about these Swiss towns is getting them at the blue hour because these uh, the lights come on, it's just, with the snow, it's just absolutely beautiful. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna explore a little bit. I'm not sure the exact plan we're gonna do. When we get back home tonight after dinner, we're gonna uh, kinda sit down and just plan a little bit on the places we wanna visit. So uh, it's gonna be a surprise to all of us to where we go tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned and let's explore tomorrow. Alright guys, so we decided last night there's a little castle here um, about a half an hour away from our hotel in Zernetz. Zernetz? About a half an hour away from our hotel in Zernetz. Um, it's called Schloss Terrasp and it's on a little hill. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Schloss Terrasp. <laughs> <So, laughs> Got it. <laughs> it's called Schloss Terrasp. <laughs> and uh, we got up here and the light was, uh, the, the color was starting to come out in the high altitude clouds as we got up here. So we raced up this little hill and just barely squeezed off like one shot, maybe two before the light faded. But then a second wave on the lower altitude as the sun rises, the lower altitude clouds caught a lot of fire. Um, in, in this direction over here, not towards the, the castle we originally planned to shoot, but there are some beautiful jagged peaks over here. And I got, I got one really good um, pano shot with the clouds and the color. And I think you got some shots too? Yes, I think so. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we got so far. I wish we would have got up here a little bit earlier, but uh, the, the, the color was just really fast. I mean, maybe a couple of minutes and it was just completely gone mm -hmm. and just, so we were in a hurry, didn't really film anything because we just had to run up here and it's uh, pretty deep snow. And I think we got a couple of good shots. So then we're gonna head back to town, um, probably grab second breakfast and then, yeah, just gonna kind of scout. We still really don't know what's going on for the rest of the day. We're just gonna kind of explore. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna explore a little bit and take you guys with us. Okay. I think we should put that I think we should put that in. Alright guys, we are here finally. We decided to come to the National Park here in Switzerland. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, we stopped a couple of times to get a couple of panos. Uh, it's kind of midday, so we're doing a lot of black and white because it's really contrasty. And behind me here, Chris is getting ready to set up to do a pano. That is actually Italy we're shooting towards right now. And this place is absolutely beautiful. I've been looking out for wolves. I guess there's some wolves around here in Ibex. I haven't seen any, but um, yeah, just this place is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna stay here for a little while. I'm not sure what we're doing for sunset, if we're gonna stay here or go somewhere else, but man, this place is absolutely stunning. So yeah, let's gonna go, uh, go see what Chris is doing. I'm gonna set up probably right with her and shoot a panel.
All right, guys. Well, other than Chris trying to steal my composition here, uh, we started driving from the National Park and started driving uh, towards a place called St. Moritz. But we found this bridge here off the side of the road and decided just to stop there. Uh, that way we can take our time. The sun's getting ready to set over these mountains behind us here. Uh, I am shooting a vertical composition at about 45 millimeters and it's pretty bright. I got a, an ND filter on, a grad filter to kind of block out some of that light or to kind of tone down some of that light. But it's pretty strong right now. So I'm actually bracketing along with the grad filter. I'm at F1 50th of a second, uh, F8 at ISO 64. And actually Chris just shot a detail shot that I'm gonna show you guys right now from the bridge. It's actually really nice because we got this frozen river here that has big chunks of frozen ice and snow. And then you got the really blue water coming through. It's absolutely beautiful. So Chris took out her long lens and shot a couple of detail shots, which are really nice. Now she's shooting at about 28 millimeters and just kind of getting uh, some of these buildings. There's a nice, beautiful church in the background on the other side of the bridge and getting this nice light coming in. Uh, you got a polarizer on there too? Uh, no polarizer. And I, usually I don't use a polarizer when shooting directly into the sun because most of the time it just doesn't work. Yeah, so we're gonna stay here for sunset actually. So we're gonna shoot. And because of these high altitude clouds, now there's some, uh, some clouds on the horizon. So we may not get color, but with these high altitude clouds, we do have a chance. So here's to hoping that we get some color. Alright guys, well that is it for this video. Uh, we're heading back to Basel tomorrow morning, so we're calling this a video and it is so cold. We're going to hurry up and get this over with. So thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.